Hello, I have an iPhone 15 Pro that I'm currently holding and I upgraded to this phone from a 13 mini for its USB-C 3 features. And one thing that I'm really keen on is to use an SSD to expand the storage for filming. And here I have a Samsung T7 500 gigabyte drive. And one thing that would be amazing is to basically have the drive attached to the back of my case. Uh, unfortunately, there is no case on the market right now that has a pocket for an SSD. I'm sure there will be some in the future. I did come across one that's 3D printed. However, that one requires you to take off the case, uh, which obviously leaves the phone exposed to um, potentially getting damaged if it falls down while you're filming. Um, so like, therefore, I thought, what if I find a way to uh, um, put the SSD on the back of my phone by use the case that I know and love? And here I am, I have a ESR Halo Lock case um, that has MagSafe. And I thought, why not put a Halo Lock ring on the back of the SSD, stick it on the back of the phone and connect the two using a short USB-C cable. This is a USB-C cable um, that is of the USB 3 type and supports speed up to 10,000 gigabits per second. And during the Prime sale, I purchased um, this pack of rings. So this cost me, I think it was about nine pounds. Uh, I'm not an ESR fanboy, but I just went with their rings because I trust the brand. I actually bought rings from a different brand, but the magnetic force was not as strong. So um, let's just pick one of the rings out. And what I would probably do is to first slap the ring on and there's a bit of a film on top. And once I pull that film off, I should then be able to stick the SSD on uh, knowing that I've stuck the ring on when the SSD has been in use, yeah? And I'm, in, and I'm also making sure that I'm sticking it on with the uh, plug hole facing downwards rather than upwards. And then I should just put in, actually, I think I'm gonna pause. <laughs> I'm gonna pause. There we go, the SSD has now been stuck on and I'm just applying a bit of pressure to ensure that um, contact has been sufficiently made between the ring and the SSD. You can see that the rings stick out just a tiny bit there, a bit on the side. It's not really a deal breaker. Um, and the next thing to do is to plug in the cable. Uh, my phone is currently held in my hand. So this is a bit tricky. I'm gonna pause again. So that is it. The cable is kind of in the case. And here it just feels like there's a little bit of a lift by the cable would make the SSD feel a tiny bit loose. And I think the way to solve it is to tie the cable tie right here to ensure that there's not that lift pressure. And I'm using a white one of these. I do have a black one. However, I wanna show everybody that you can put this together on a budget using things that you have at home. I have seen 180 degree USB-C adapters that you can just plug in um, and then you buy a really short cable. However, those adapters were a little bit pricey. I saw some for 10 pounds, eight pounds, but it wasn't clear whether they would be compatible with the thickness of my case or thinness of it. Um, and I figured let's do it on the cheap, just use a cable that can also be used for other things. Um, and um, yeah, so let me put this this cable tie on. I am now filming this using my M1 iPad, so excuse the quality. As you can see, the SSD is on. Really neat. And it's pretty secure as well. I can bang the phone on the table can shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's not coming on or off. And if I do give it a push, 
it's not coming loose too quickly. Obviously, if I'm really forcing it, it does come off. But for the most part, it's pretty sturdy. Is obviously the magnetic force is not as strong as the ESR Waller. Like this magnet is ridiculously strong, like crazy strong in a good way, because of course it's your wallet. But here, it's more than sturdy enough for me to go out and film. Like I, I would have no problem filming with this. Like it feels secure enough. And these SSDs are pretty bump proof as well, especially if you have the rugged features as well. And now let's try to disconnect it. See what that looks like. See? Disconnected and the same wire can then be used to plug the SSD into a computer. And then we put this back. And then I'm going to try to plug it in one handed, which I don't think is going to be that easy. Uh, but I did it anyway. So that's it. So here's an example of how you can attach an SSD to the back of your iPhone with a 10 pound cable and a pack of um, ESR Maxi Fring. Much cheaper and much quicker than um, waiting for a dedicated SSD case, which might also end up with you losing Maxi features as well. But with this on, I don't need to faff around with a separate film case, but I can just unplug this. And just like that, I got my phone as it looks normally and I can get on with my business as well, which is very seamless for life. So that does allow me to jump between filming and daily life. Thank you.